All right, hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft again. I am obsessed with the uh, Expressive E Osmos keyboard. I love this keyboard. I have to tell you, it's the coolest thing that I've bought in a long time. Um, and I don't usually say that about a lot of stuff, but this is a really great synthesizer. So today I thought maybe I would hook it up and use the MPE to, to control pigments, Autoria pigments, um, and I've been playing around with it and it's really cool. So without further ado, let's check it out.
So there you have it. It's ridiculous the what you can do. I had the Osmos uh, connected via USB into my computer. I launched Pigments by Atoria, went into the menu in Pigments and selected MPE Enable, went into the Osmos and selected MPE, uh, and was able to control uh, Pigments with the Osmos. Very cool. I'm gonna experiment with some more. I have some more software synthesizers that accept MPE, uh, and I'm gonna be doing the same thing with that. I don't usually do a whole lot of videos on uh, one synthesizer usually, unless I'm absolutely blown away by it. So I'm gonna do a lot more videos on the Osmos. Um, Expressive E, you guys are unbelievable. I know the Touche is very cool, but this, is a game changer. So if you haven't played around with one, which is very rare, like I said in the other video I did, it's hard to find one um, in any music store at this point, but I have to tell you, buy it, buy this synthesizer. It's $17.99. I know that's a lot of money for some people. It's a lot of money for me, but it's so worth having. It's so worth uh, playing around with. So yeah. Again, like my shirt says, forgive me, Father, for I have synth. Um, very cool. Check it out. So please subscribe, ring the bell, and um, yeah, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos on this synth. Again, peace. <laughs>